Monday. But it's my day off, so it's technically it's technically like a Saturday, Sunday for me because I still work tomorrow. But it's all good. It's all good. I actually am kid free for a change. Both the girls are at my mom's at the farm for the week. Since we go to the five tournaments. I am freaking pumped. So every year, my in-laws host North America's largest Muay Thai tournament in Des Moines, Iowa. They have, I think, like over a thousand fighters registered again, again this year. Um, and I get to work ringside medic. So Wednesday, we have our um, weigh-in. So we'll do weigh-ins, pre-fight checks, all that stuff for all the fighters coming through. It's a long day. Again, we're checking like a thousand people all day long from like all over it's amazing insane and then fights start i think like 9 or 10 a.m that could be wrong i have to look at the schedule i don't know but i know they start early thursday friday saturday and then on sunday are all of the championship bouts so i'm freaking pumped i'll have some dope ringside footage of that it's yeah um i miss it i miss not fighting i did it um a few times and i loved it but I love bodybuilding more. So I keep reminding myself every time the fights come around and I'm like, no, stop getting hit in the face. You don't like that anymore. You just want to build muscles. So that's, that's what I'm doing. I got my morning drink though. I ran out of greens. Yo, my gut has not been okay. Not okay. Like I can definitely tell that I have not had greens for like the last two-ish, three-ish days. Um, Cause yeah, I just, it's not good. It's not normal. I don't know what's happening down there, but I don't like it. And it, I need my greens back. I have reds in here at least, so that's better than nothing. Um, the new company that I sell for, their greens are sold out right now because their five-day drop bundle blew up, which included the greens. So um, I just did my backup, which I still love. They're still just as great um, through FNX. And hopefully they get here soon because <laughs> I need them. But anyway, I got all my other goods in there. I got my other stuff. So, I have a wax today. I'm gonna get a lift in, cardio pack for the week. Get all my food prepped for the week. Cause again, I work tomorrow. So literally I'm gonna get off work, go to bed. We're gonna wake up and leave. So I gotta have my stuff together. Um, I get, I'll get a wax uh, here in just a little bit. So I need to hurry. And then I get my hair done tomorrow. So, yay. Where's all my mom's at? <laughs> like I said before, like I'm like kidless and I'm getting like so much stuff done today. Got like half the house clean. I'm doing like ADHD cleaning, I swear. <clears throat> all over the place, getting stuff put away, getting stuff organized. I'm like a third of the way packed for the fights this week. Got my meal prep going, enjoy some time outside. I actually laid outside, like laid outside in the sunlight and tanned without being splashed or touched or like yelled at by a tiny creature that I, that I made. So relaxing. Minus the fact I literally put like oil on cause I'm like, oh, like I got a little bit of time. I'm gonna maximize. I'm gonna get my bronze on. I work nights. I should know better. Do you think I learned? I didn't learn. I burned hardcore. And then, and then I went for a walk and did some outside cardio with the oil still on. So I'm pretty much just going to be a lobster for the rest of my life at this point and it is what it is. Also, in case anyone's wondering, um, after you have kids, your skin, it's not the same. It's not the same. Also, if you're pregnant, when you get pregnant, if you get pregnant, whatever, um, just be aware that you will burn. Like before I got pregnant with my first, I like, I would maybe burn if I was outside for like a hot minute or like on motorcycle rides, stuff like that. You know, where like I'm stationary in the sun for like long periods of time. I would burn. When I was pregnant for the first time, I would sit outside for like 20 minutes, if that. Burn, like hardcore, absolutely bright red lobster burn. So, long story not, not short, um, kids and babies jack up your skin's reaction to the sun. 
and now I feel like I just constantly burn all the time after two kids and I'm just unless I fake fake which I ain't got time for that anymore let's be honest I'm just never gonna be a bronze goddess anymore it kind of bothers me <laughs> so I just get a bunch of tattoos and then it just looks like I'm tan all the time and you just never know just never know um yeah anyway so me and my lobster skin i have back day today um heavy back so i'm gonna do some deads probably some lap pull downs and some kind of banded work is my plan for my food though i got um, my pre-made chicken that i just pulled from the container um going i should have made it on the black stone because it tastes better but to be honest i'm over the sun at this point in my life so I was not going back outside <laughs> until I'm forced to. Yeah. So I've got the um, chicken going and it's like a low sodium, good for you teriyaki sauce that my husband puts on it, which is delicious. Got my sweet potatoes in the air fryer. I like to make like sweet potato fries. So I just like slice it up, put it in the air fryer, sprinkle some like garlic powder on it. Just kiss. So good. I'm gonna add some spinach to my chicken in a little bit, and then I have uh, avocado oil. I'm gonna drizzle over it with some pink salt. So probably one of my favorite meals because it actually feels like I'm eating like not cut foods. So <laughs> I'm very ready to like switch and start building. And don't get me wrong, like I think I'm right around like 1,800 calories right now on a training day. Um, about 1,600 on my two. Um, active rest and then full rest day so I'm like the average person's calorie intake right now but for me as a cut calorie because I am I'm ready to get back up there like I want to be like in the mid 2000s just about 3000 it's prime prime so ready to bulk <sighs> anyway we're getting there though we're getting body recomp is going fantastic um my brain just hardcore squirreled. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna finish cooking this. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna go lift. I'm actually gonna take the motorcycle because again, I don't have to spawn right now, which is like, I don't know what to do with myself. The house is quiet. Things are picked up. I have no stress. I am actually sleeping. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, I don't, I feel like I'm 20 but with way more back pain. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I will try and get some videos of me lifting. I don't know, I make no promises. My videos anymore, they're just all over the place. And if you're watching them, thank you. If not, it is what it is. It's just kind of a way for me to kind of look back, see where I was at, what I had going on, all that fun stuff. Basically just like a video diary for myself. And if you want to come along on my psycho, crazy, chaotic life, that's cool too. It is what it is. All right, we got some hotel cooking happening here. So when I travel, I have like my little travel scale. Literally amazing. It folds up. It's uh, Joseph is a brand, I think. Yeah, it's Joseph, Joseph try scale literally the best thing ever when you're traveling like no joke got some hotel cooking like i said happening so i've got my little bowl i took from the stack room i think luckily our hotel has a microwave and a fridge but i also have access to like all the stuff from the staff room so um not a big deal but i have I literally cooked in bulk. So I got my chicken, I got my rice, and I'm literally just praying that the mini fridge doesn't freeze my stuff like it normally does. I'm gonna have to like chip at it, which is not fun. It sucks. But, um, I have veggies and hard boiled my eggs, which I don't usually hard boil. I just like either stir fry them or over easy or whatever. The whole fridge smells like Thank egg. I don't like it. But it's literally day one of the fight. So right now we're working on check-ins. So weigh-ins were about 
halfway done, give or take, it's about three o'clock. They go till seven, um, they'll start to taper down. Usually in the morning is the busiest people are flying in, driving in, all of that stuff. So it's literally just like chaos. Um, people are trying to make way. It's just like a circus down there, but it's great and it's amazing. Um, probably one of the things I look forward most every summer. Um, my in-laws host it. It's like I said, North America's largest Muay Thai tournament. Literally we have fighters from everywhere. Canada, you name it. Like we have fighters that come to this. So it's super, super cool. Um, and it's literally like just one big family. Like you keep seeing the same people over and over, the same teams, fighters, trainers, stuff like that. Um, so it's just cool to like see everyone every year and then see how like everyone's progressing and changing. And it's just, it's super cool. Um, every time we come, it definitely makes me miss it and wish that I was still doing it. And then I remember that I don't like getting hit in the face that much anymore. And that I would much prefer sticking with the bodybuilding that I am much better at. I was in an okay fighter. I feel like um, if I would have had some different um, like nutrition coaching, probably would have been a little bit different as well as just been able to put like more time and effort into it. I wasn't able to make team training a lot. So it was literally like my hubby and me training and then I'd make it a team training when I could since we live about an hour and a half away from like where the team actually trains, which is my stepfather-in-law's team who hosts the event, whatever. Um, yeah, so I feel like stuff like that, like I might've been a little bit more successful. I just, I just didn't have like the time to really put into it what it needed. Um, and I just love bodybuilding. So that's what I'm gonna stick with. But anyway, so I'm gonna keep scooping out my food here on my little pilfered paper plates um i probably could bring like my own actual like silverware and dishware or whatever be a little bit more earth conscious but this is way easier and i don't want to have to sit here and wash a bunch of dishes in the sink so i don't okay but anyway yeah i got my chicken rice i'm gonna add some broccoli cook it up add some avocado oil and this will be my meal number three so I was amazingly up without an alarm, which is horrifying, at uh, 6.30. So got my check-in done, got sent to coach, got all my other morning stuff, and I am going to get some cardio and lift, and then hopefully find a Starbucks. And fights start at 10 a.m. today, yeah. So they were still checking people in at 11 p.m. last night. And I was like, yo, nah, I got to go. So don't sign me up for that when I get up early. I will not make it. Looks like they've already got people starting to warm up. The fitness center, there's other people in there. Hands up, hands up!
today or last day of my elimination bout fights today and championships tomorrow my friend fights today so I'm excited to watch her and just finish my workout tomorrow Sunday so it's rest day so I'm sleeping a little bit more which is exciting <laughs> but yeah should have some pretty decent fight footage again. The fights so far have been insane. They've been really good this year. So that's really good. Um, stay real hot and people are judging me filming. Okay, I'm gonna show and get ready. Bye. <laughs>
Super windy outside. I'm like a squinty, squinty trash panda. I literally just woke up. Our championship boxer today. So this is gonna be a long day. We have 172 fights to make it through. So it's my rest day. Um, so I am gonna get as much movement as I can right now in the morning. Quick. Plus it is it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous outside. Um, plus there's still fighters trying to make weight so they weigh in on Wednesday to make sure championships they have to weigh in again on Sunday it's supposed to help prevent big weight cuts stuff like that and uh, it doesn't they still do it it's ridiculous um, this year though we have people getting it like one of our doctors does IV infusion so there's a lot of people doing that which is I mean kind of cool but yeah so a lot of people in the gym anyway and I'm like it's my rest day I just want to be outside, haven't been outside for, you know, all week because we've been in the hotel. But yeah, it's good. I'm gonna finish my walk and then I'm gonna go in, shower, eat, and get ready for the day. Okay, so I'm in this video a little bit of a time gap, a couple days. <clears throat> so fights were awesome this year. It's a really good time. Absolutely love it. Like it's a lot of work, it's kind of stressful and like they're really long days. But it's just fun and everyone's like one big family and it's just really cool like you're uniting with everyone every year and seeing how's everyone's like change and progressed and all of that so it's it's good and every year it just keeps getting bigger and bigger they had uh like 940 somewhere around their registered fighters so <laughs> it was a lot but i'm <laughs> sorry i'm like literally dying right now i uh did my hit cardio i did sprint intervals to the gym which is about two miles so um it was like perfect time wise as far as what i'm supposed to get for that and then did my lift and did not you know process the fact that i'd have to turn around and walk back home and then i didn't leave enough time so i ended up having to jog a decent portion of it back <sighs> which is fine it's fine it's just extra cardio 
extra steps, extra fat loss, right? That's what I keep telling myself, but it is it's warm today. I am, can't tell. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see it. My knees are sweating, so that's fun. That's how I know it's hot. And I am working. There's a lot of hills. Well, it's mostly downhill on the way there. Didn't process the fact that, duh, it's uphill on the way back. <laughs> so hopefully this should be the last and final stint of my cut. Coach dropped food. She said this next couple weeks are gonna extra suck suck. So it's exciting. Up to cardio. So I'm really squinty because it's hella bright. But yeah, dropped food again. Cranked cardio back up. I've got hit and steady state every other day. My arms are tired because I have to keep switching. But yeah, I'm gonna close this video out with that. We're headed to the car show tomorrow. Good guys car show. So I should have some sweet footage of cars, the road track race, all that fun stuff. Um, maybe try and get some more lifting footage in. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see.